Hi, I'm Bailey Morris here with Illuminators Entertainment and we are showcasing students from Jacksonville State University and talking about what it's like to be a student here. Today I'm here with Emily DeCruz. Hi. Hello. Thank you for being here with us. Um, I know you're a student here, but are you a sophomore, junior, senior? I'm a senior. You are a senior. Mm -hmm. And what is your major? I am Computer Information Systems, which is like computer science, but with a focus on business. Okay. So with that, I know you had an internship this past summer. What all has that opened up for you and mm -hmm. what has that done for you? It's kind of just changed the whole like course of my career and what I thought was going to happen. So we had a job fair at Jacksonville State and mm -hmm. uh, Protective came. And when I handed them my resume, the woman circled uh, one of the programming languages I had learned here. And she said, if you have this on your resume, you're an instant hire. So after that, um, I just heard from them again and I was hired there um, and this whole summer I've just gotten to like learn about my major and learn about programming but it was like in just such a different way because it was just like learning on my own time and the people there were so nice it was amazing so with your programming language you learned that like in your classes yes okay so um, is that just like code or what is that okay so when you code like there's several like different languages, different ways mm -hmm. you can do it. It's not like learning a language because a language is much harder. Once you kind of have one programming language, it's not too hard to swap. And I have friends that like are computer science in Auburn and Alabama, and they learn like three languages at most. Here, I think I've learned like seven. Oh, wow. So JSU has a really great computer uh, department yeah. that's slept on. It's really great. Apparently, especially if you're saying you have people from Alabama and Auburn that do three and you're, you've learned seven, especially with us being a smaller university. Mm -hmm. What else on campus are you involved with? I'm involved in a sorority. I am in Delta Zeta and I'm a do a lot on the Panhellenic team. So I've been on that for two years. I'm in a lot of like honor societies and stuff like that. What exactly do you do on the Panhellenic side of? Um, so I'm on the Panhellenic Council. Mm -hmm. So we kind of oversee the different organizations and just kind of like try to unite uh, the sororities because if you're not in Greek life and you see some letters on a shirt, you don't know like which one is which. So okay. we're trying to just make sure all of sororities kind of have a good reputation. Okay. And I'm the vice president of administration. So I charge the sororities for their member uh, dues. I take minutes at meetings and stuff like that. And I'm in charge of budgeting for the Panhellenic year. Okay. Um, with Delta Zeta, what have you been involved with with them? Like what opportunities have you had with them? Uh, I've done a lot with them. I've done a lot of positions. Um, like I was in a mural position mm -hmm. and like when I went through sorority recruitment one of the sororities their theme was sports if you know sorties you know which one and I was like oh my gosh sports I don't know if that's gonna be my <laughs> thing I was like I don't really do sports and then Delta Zeta like after getting to play on the sports team with my sisters it really mm -hmm. just brought like that what I would have never thought I would have done they inspired me to do it so yeah. so um, I know with being a senior, what are you looking, do you graduate in December or do you graduate in May? I graduate in May, but I only have three online classes I'm going to take in the spring. Oh, so you'll be like almost done. Yes, basically. and uh, <laughs> I'm working part-time for my internship now, okay. and I'm going to be off campus next semester. I'm just going to be working for them full-time and trying to finish out my like last music class or whatever it is. Okay, have. so your internship has opened up, it turned into a job, so and, like they've yeah. now hired you for that. And they want me to continue once I graduate and everything, so okay. it's been really great to be able to have a job already once I graduate. Yes, because that's what we're all here for. <laughs> that's why we go to college. Um, also with touching more on the Panhellenic and Delta Zeta, within Delta Zeta, I'm, I'm obviously I'm wearing the shirt. I'm <laughs> one of her, I am one of her sisters. Um, I know you did like ritual chair for mm -hmm. us, but what, and I didn't even know you did intramurals, but what else, like what other chairs have you had with them or can you remember? I know you've been in for four years, so. <laughs> um, I did intramural before. I did, only did it for one semester. Yeah. Um, I also was courtesy chair for a, a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, that one, I didn't have to do a lot. I just had to really remember people's birthdays. I was on big committee for a little bit and that was interesting because you got to like discuss like who was accepted but that really like left a sour taste though because I was like I hate to judge these people based yeah. on this and that's where Panhellenic was so great because as I was a rogamer with that 
I didn't have to worry about judging the girls or anything. I just talked to the freshman girls and helped them figure out what they wanted to do. So I like that a little bit more. Well, again, Emily, thank you so much for being here today. I'm Bailey Morris, and I am here with Illuminators Entertainment. And thank you so much for joining us for this episode of What's It Like to Be a JSU Student.